Oh, I've been climbing for days. Welcome back to another sequin episode. We got an interesting one for you today. Stay tuned. This thing turns like you're trying to steer the Titanic. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's 1698. What's in my car? What, why, why do you have a limo? Why do I have a limo? Yeah. There's no cup holders. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Is this my ride? <laughs> yeah, hop on in. Yeah, it's pretty huge. You ever heard the phrase junk in the trunk? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Bit of whole bundle of firewood and a bunch of corn in there. That'll do. And this lady goes, she was walked out back, we were putting corn in. She goes, Are you picking up corn in a limo, huh? <laughs> it's like words I thought nobody would ever tell me. <laughs> People wanted the limo and, it, and she's back in all of her glory. Deathmatch with these pigs later. <laughs> I feel like militia right now. What are the odds that I flunked my beloved limo into the quarry? Yeah. What, what do you mean? What do I need for it? It smells kind of bad. <laughs> kind of smells like I just killed it. Why that's, wouldn't that's, this place be haunted? It's comforting. There's nothing here. Well, why would why would this place be haunted? The weird stuff is already happening. This is what's going down to Four Bottom later. We're gonna eat all these. Ah! At some point, we will cook a pig over that fire. It is the last thing I do. You think you could do a donut in this thing? <laughs> I'm doing that again. We are. Home sweet home. Welcome to the quarry. So we're on a piece of property that I have that's 800 acres, rural part of Georgia. It's an old abandoned quarry that was opened up in like early 1900s and this place is covered in pigs. Uh, Drew and I came out here last week and set up a bunch of places where we're feeding running cameras, trying to uh, pattern these pigs. But what we're gonna do is archery hunt during the day and then as it gets closer to dark, switch over to thermals. We got a, a buddy of ours coming with a bunch of thermal rifles and like night vision scopes and all kinds of fancy toys that we're gonna ease around at night, take a poke at that. So catch and cook too. We're That's gonna right. cook it over an open fire. I'm I've been leave, wanting to do this forever. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I figured so. <laughs> By the way, this place is super freaking haunted. So <laughs> nighttime should be interesting. The plan was to camp out out here, but last minute lead wimped out. I don't, I don't do well with spirits and ghosts. Scary movies, not my thing. But I'm feeling confident today. The donuts and the limo, I'm feeling good. The coffee. <laughs> the coffee's just wired me up. You don't think I can hit that wall? No. Um, like back, like the cutout rectangle, like the back wall, that wall, or like this wall to the right. If I do it, I get to slap you in the face with a handful of yogurt. No. And if I don't do it, you can slap me with a handful of yogurt. All right, fine. Deal. There's no chance you're gonna hit this. Well, you think I'm gonna short it? Yeah, I think you're gonna short it. Big time? <sighs> Way left. No way, it hit dead center. Give me some yogurt. <laughs> Woo! So stupid. You know how satisfying this is gonna be? It's gonna taste good. I quit. Sequel one is over with. <laughs> oh, that made my day. <laughs> 
talk to shit on it. So we were literally just sitting there talking about the game plan. Lee checks his phone and the hogs just showed up. They've been showing up the last week or so, sometime around noon, a little bit after noon, so they're early today. I'm gonna try to stalk them. I don't know how well it's gonna work. But give it a try. It's our only option right now, so. Dude, we, I'm telling you, like they might be there for 10 minutes and leave because there's not feed there. I've got it marked on my onyx where it is, the turn in the road and everything. smelled us or just saw us or what we got to like 75 yards and they kind of spooked and went that way they're not running but they're walking pretty fast if we head up this road here go down there yeah see if we can't cut them it looks catch like them going, going that way, way. Is there any chance we cook a hog at night? At this rate, we probably will be. Wow, so. it just got really hot. Yeah. I know the boar bottom boar is coming, like within an hour of dark, and I guarantee you on the power line feeder that there's gonna be coming, they're gonna, they'll be there. Might just end up cooking this pig all night long with spirits and demons. Cooking a pig out on this haunted quarry. Why it's, wouldn't this place be haunted? It's comforting. There's nothing here, well, why, would, why would this place be haunted? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> not massive amounts of human death that's happened here. Well, we got a sharpened stick if that counts for anything. You had like a silver tip on it, I think that's good for vampires. Ooh. Yeah. Other than that, you're screwed. I've been against it from the start. <laughs> what are the odds you jump it off the quarry? What are the odds that I plunge my beloved limo into the quarry? Yeah. What are the odds? What, what do you mean? What do I need for it? What is it going to take? A ton of subs. There's, like, there's, there's some things that on in this world that are just not, you can't put a price on. <laughs> there's probably plenty of 1996 Lincoln limousines out it's there. A it's, uh, a it's a 93. It's a 93. That's a good year. That is a good Don't year. push my buttons. It's a 93. How by many subs? By the end of 2020, how many subs? do we need for you to say, all right, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice this limo for you guys. <laughs> and plunge it into the quarry. Plunge it into the quarry. Brick on the pedal and launch it off the Dude, quarry. Dude, a lot. <laughs> I'm not just going to drive a limo off the edge of a cliff. A million subs? 500,000. 500 by the... By the end of 2020. And uh, you drive the limo off the edge of the quarry. End of 2020, 500,000? If we hit 500,000 subs, I'll, I'll do it. It's not gonna happen. Here. It's not gonna happen. It's not. I, I don't know. Maybe I hope it happens. If if okay, watching right now. Hand to the sky. The sky. Yeah. I mean, I I promise. <laughs> this is this is my scouts' honor promise. If we legitimately hit 500,000 subs by the end of 2020, end of deer season 2020, I will give up the limo and jump it off of the quarry into the, drive it off the edge of the quarry and just let it plunge. Deal. I don't have to say deal because it's not my limo, but. There's no way we're gonna get there. So I feel good about it. Do you have to consult the other four owners of this limo? Yeah. So I, <laughs> the other four owners that paid 300 bucks a piece? I'll have to have a talk with them. I'll give them their money back and a little investment or a little return on their investment. I think they'd be fine with it. Moving on, we're going to a place that I call Boar Bottom, and there is a really big boar showing up every night, like within an hour of daylight, darkness rather. We're going to try and thermal that pig tonight. It's a huge boar. 
but we're going to go check and make sure that uh, we can actually like have a plan of how we're going to approach, make sure we have a shooting lane to get to them. At some point, we will cook a pig over that fire, if it is the last thing I do. down there that Drew and I came here last time and buried a bunch of corn and Kool-Aid. That boar's been hit every night. I'm pretty sure we can slip up to here without him knowing, especially un under the cover of night. Thermal him from right here. Straight up the coals. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. Anyways, that's how we're gonna kill him. With the tomahawk? That's all. This <laughs> is ride BMX. It's a seat from a plane crash. 27,000 people died in it. See, that's the cables from the uh, inner turbine propeller systems. Uh, I ain't no rock magician. The original, the original plan, we actually fed down here last week, but the original plan was to sit here in the evening. We call it like the sniper overlook. And this place down here is just like torn up with pig tracks, but it's all pretty much flooded out right now. Where we put the corn is it's underwater. underwater right now. We'll have to come back here. When it hunt. tries out, yeah. Amelia Earhart did her training out here when she like was beginning to do her trip across the Atlantic. Some say that's her seat. Dude, we're gonna have to find another road. Yeah, you're right. Can't cross this. That way? Yeah. All right. Another tree, another tree down. I have to come out here with a chainsaw or something. This is getting ridiculous. Man, logs in the way. Another one. It's getting ridiculous. You have to go around. Nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around, all right? All right. A few options here. So this is the 11 and a half inch 223. Yeah. You got your vortex one to six up top for your daylight time but then this at night laser it beam. has a visible and invisible laser beam so the invisible is infrared so you can only see it through the night vision so that way your enemy doesn't know you're coming for him aka the hogs and this is the thermal yep that one we can turn on and look at in the day yeah, make sure so it's tactical empty. right now. All right. We're gonna play uh, team deathmatch with these pigs later. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some domination. So oh, like, yeah. I mean, if there's a pig all the way across the pond there, you would be able to see it. All right, so boar bottom that we talked about. This is what's going down in boar bottom later. Pigs are at the feeder. They just showed up on my camera. Right, so we gotta, go, is, we gotta go like quick. We got pigs at the feeders. Let's go get them. I feel like militia right now. That big group is back, so we're rushing over there. Try to do the same thing, spot and stalk, except this time.
think, I think you shot just before me. Mine was running when I shot. I think I hit it, but yeah, I don't know for sure. That's a perfect eating size. Catch and cook, baby. All right. <laughs> I saw another piglet running off too when I, when I took that last shot. I don't know what... That one of these should have been my first shot. Yeah. I think we spooked them here. They didn't know what it was and it eventually came back, but they smelled us or something earlier. It's dead calm right now though too. So. Yeah. Yeah. They probably have been, they're pretty wary since we spooked them earlier. We're on the board, baby. I mean, I need to look over here for blood because I think I shot mine too. Okay, so I did hit mine. Yeah, dude, foreign. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> dude, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. <laughs> it's actually a boar. Yeah. I'm gonna head that way to the road. Like a charm, baby. Let's get the catch and cook. Y'all can help me get it on my back. Y'all ever heard of a piggyback ride? <laughs> that, that, that's actually, I think, how it started. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to give that seek one hat away. Okay. <laughs> Someone wants the seek one hat, we'll mail it to your house. Leave a comment. <laughs> Does this look cool? <laughs> it looks wrong. While Lee takes pictures of the hogs on top of the limo, I'm gonna be productive over here. <laughs> you give me a cooking class over there? Yeah. <laughs> Carry on. All right, so we haven't gutted the hogs yet. Haven't decided if we're gonna skin it yet or if we're just gonna leave the skin on, gut it, and string it up on this spit here. But uh, before we start skinning them, we're just gonna go ahead and get the fire lit, get a nice bed of coals. Once they kind of burn out, we're gonna spread them out um, basically between these two huge pieces of granite and just kind of create this oven here so if you guys want to comment on all the things I'm doing wrong go for it but it should work if cavemen can do it we can do it we can either skin it or we can literally just like pull the guts out I said we pull the guts out, throw it on there. I've got gloves on. Hogs here in the States have brucellosis and trigonosis. So like any little cuts on your hands that you have, there's, I think it's like 25% of hogs here carry those diseases. That's gonna be difficult to do. We got pigs in front of our camera. Let's go get them. Alright, I'm pretty sure I drilled that first one. I'm not gonna lie, you'll probably see the thermals, guys. I got a little disoriented. You shot once and then like you stopped shooting. I was like, what the Well, heck I you thought doing? I dropped the first one, and so I started looking for the other ones, and then the second the first one I shot started running again, so yeah. I tried to get back on him. That first one did look hurt. Yeah, like, and then as as and shot. then as the last two, y'all were saying to the right, I got back on those two and I heard like I the heard bullet squeal. sounded like it hit. You hit so, something, it could have been a tree, but we might have doubled up. We might have gotten up. See, I don't think he hit any of those. They didn't look hit, but I don't know. I mean, what do you think? That thing, that looked like it. Like it hit in the butt or something. Yeah. I don't know what happened. We didn't find any. We're going to the next pig. All right, bottom boar. 
I've been, I've been talking about it like all day. I feel like it just showed up. It's definitely the biggest pig I've seen on these cameras. So we got like 200 yards. We're gonna try and get up there. And I wanna, I really, I wanna get close to this one and like really knock it down. I drilled him. Keep the lights on. So dark. I watched him. He go, went right this way. I really want to find this one. I'm about to shoot. What is it? Here, wait. Keep your light on. Wait, it's a, I think it's a bunny. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, it is a bunny. <laughs> stuff looks a lot bigger on that thermal. Yeah, yeah, stuff looks huge. I swear I heard it crash the river. Yeah. You found it. Weird stuff is already happening. Ah! I brought two fully charged flashlights here, and in the last two minutes, both of them died just like mysteriously. I know, like I've seen like Ghostbusters and stuff like like it's like ghosts mess with electrical things. Just went for round one with a the thermal. Coals are looking good now, so we're gonna go ahead and sling this back on, and get her cooking, and hope this stick doesn't break. That is not gonna last for long. What are pigs? Yeah. Think about how hilarious that's gonna be. All right, we got a little bit better stick this time. <laughs> We're back in business, boys. Yeah. There's your pick. Pork is done at 160, 165 degrees. She's been on for probably an hour now, maybe more than an hour, no, two hours. More than an hour. Pretty close to being That's, ready. Whoa, now it's jumping up to 165. I think my pants are on fire. <laughs> Why don't we cut into it a little bit and see what it looks like? She's at 165. We're going to play it safe and leave her on for about 10, 15 more minutes. We might start picking at the back strap here in a second, but we're going to give her a little bit more time. Let me show you the fixings that we got here. All right. We got. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do whatever's necessary. We got some smoked paprika. Paprika. Paprika, ground cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. It's late. I'm getting delusional. All Sorry. natural. It's all natural sea salt. It's the good stuff. Straight from the quarry. Olive oil. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Earl of Earl. Black, black pepper. So, I guess we're just gonna dump this right on top of the skin. Dump it real good. And she's gonna soak right in, <laughs> and it's gonna be delicious. We haven't eaten all day. I've been eating all day. <laughs> I had a whole box of cookies earlier. I've been eating all day. <laughs> oh, we got the pineapple too. This is more for uh, aesthetic reasons. That looks like something I've seen before. <laughs> no, it's just, it's good. Don't be shy. You want more? Yeah, don't be shy. Peppa? This is gonna have some kick to it. Well, who's gonna do the honors? We're eating it now? I mean, that looks like a cooked pork tenderloin. That's definitely done. Cut me a little slice, too. It smells kind of bad. <laughs> kind of smells like I just killed it. A little chewy. Pretty flavorful, though. Got a little kick to it. Here. Y'all dig in. It's not. It doesn't help that I had singed hairs all over my hand. I've now rolled it in singed hairs. Let me get you another one. There's plenty, plenty more. You know what? It, it's really pretty good. I mean, the, I'm, I'm actually serious. It's really pretty good. It's just, it's just tougher. I mean, mine wasn't that tough. Really? No, pretty good. Maybe. Scale of one to ten, first catch and cook we've done. I mean, it, it tastes good. I think it's cooked well, at least on this back strap. It's definitely not cooked evenly around the whole pig, but these are invasive species and they tear up our property out here. So we're trying to make an effort to like thin these out and keep the numbers in check. They reproduce like crazy, so we always try to eat everything that we're hunting. Uh, but we're, we're, we're not going to eat all these. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, <laughs> Why does that happen? <laughs> As I was saying, we're going to keep hunting these things out here. There's too many of them, and they really are actually running our deer off. So we're going to make an effort to do that. We'll come back out here on some more. If you want to see more catch and cooks, 
We'll do some more. I mean, let us know. We read you guys' comments. Apparently, this is a real thing that we're doing now. If we hit 500,000 subs by the end of 2020, we're going to launch that limo into the bottom of this quarry. I'm going to be really upset if it actually happens. I don't think it's going to happen, but uh, the other thing, too, is next week we are going to pick up a brand new Express XP160. It's a fully camouflaged bass boat slash like duck hunting boat, and we're going to give that away to one of you guys on the channel this year. Uh, literally going to drive it to one of y'all's house, hand you the keys, it's yours to have. But you got to subscribe to our channel first. If you haven't done that, please do that. Like this video, leave us a comment. We mentioned that this place is haunted. It's got, Very some, haunted. It's got, it's got some stories to it. So I know the sheriff out here, he has like crazy stories, haunted crazy stories about this place. We used to let Marines hunt out here. They've told me crazy stories. So if we want to come back out, we could actually camp out here in the limo, do some more hog hunting. Let us know. We'll come back out here. We have free reign to this place. That's all we got. Let's finish her up. I'm hungry. Yeah, give me some more.